Why are they dancing? Wait, is there music playing when, when the, yeah. the screen's on? Yeah, it's but it's like cutesy little like uh -oh. Animal Crossing music. It's your vibe, don't worry. We, we made sure it was your vibe. Oh, they can see us! Hi, everyone. We made it! We're at the sanctuary. We're at the sanctuary. <laughs> wow! Oh, there was a sick thumbnail. Wait, do it again. <laughs> Get your no way. See, they're waving. I told you they'd be nice. Chat, this is great. Uh, first impressions do matter. I will admit, my first impression of this chat was... Go ahead, Lacey. Tell them, tell them um, what I saw. Okay, so... I, I pull up here, I sign into my Twitch, and the first thing she sees is you guys spamming the Jorkin emote in the offline chat. So, and there's, yeah, there's Daglu doing it. Okay. Let, listen, guys, we're not going to be doing that today, okay? We're not you, Jorkin. Why is your Nightbot saying that? How, could, how does you even get your Nightbot to say that? I don't even know what it said. I'm not saying it. Do you see that? <laughs> that Wait, what did it say? What did the Nightbot say? Stop Jorkin. Stop, ew. Guys, stop. You should not have that emote. That's crazy. <laughs> What they're going, ew. They're how, okay, going but how is that even on Twitch? In both directions. Oh, they have them in every direction. Ew. But yeah, that was her first impression. Let's let's uh let's not do that, okay? Everybody just say hi to Maya. If it makes you feel any better, the first impression I had of Silky's chat yesterday, before they even got here, I opened it and someone said, hit that, hit that, hit that fent blunt and get deady. What? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh I yeah, no, that's SLG. That's SLG. What's SL? Oh, no, that's Silky's. That's Silky's community, yeah. Hit that fent blunt. See, they're waving. What's, what's yours? What's my community? Yeah. Um, La Lacey Stugs. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, Lacey. Oh, you like that? Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, she likes the thugs. You guys are so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, see, we got the little thugs email right there. See that? That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, you do. Um... We've had, so, hello everybody. Hi, you probably do not know who I am. Um, I don't know how much overlap me and Lacey have. <laughs> we have a lot, actually. You think so? Yeah, we oh. had Jason, then we had um, Silky and Adapt yesterday. Yep. But yeah, we for those of you back. who don't know her, she's going to introduce herself. Hi everybody, my name is Maya. Um, I'm, I am 26 years old, uh, and I am the owner and executive director and founder of Alvea Sanctuary, which is where we're at today. I'm also, yeah. I'm also a streamer. Um, why does she look nervous as hell? I don't know. You tell me, guys. Look at the chat right now. Imagine being like a normal person. No offense. Imagine being like a normal person and standing in front of a chat like this. No, they're cool. They're, they're going to be cool today. Guys, we're going to act right today, okay? We got wide speed left. We're going to act right. Yeah. Um, wait, can I, how do I uh, tell them about the, the charity? So Alvea Sanctuary is a nonprofit animal sanctuary. We rescue animals from around the country. The stream today is going to be... Lacey, meeting a bunch of animals, and I'm going to teach you about those animals. Uh, and because we're a nonprofit, we rely exclusively on donations to fund these operations, to rescue animals, and to yes. do education programs. So if you guys want to donate today, that would be awesome. Um, guys, everybody donate so you guys can save the animals. Thank you. Look, there's a dollar donation. From there we go. It's just Max, bitch. Thanks for a dollar. <laughs> Appreciate the dollar, man. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, we good. Okay. Yep. Um, did you guys know that Lacey was going to be a lawyer? Yeah, I told her about how I was in college. I actually, I graduated top of my class in high school. Really? Yeah. Are you I, lying? No, I was valedictorian. Swear? Yeah, valedictorian. Spell valedictorian. Do I use this marker? Yeah, it's fine. It's, that's not the one I would pick, but okay. Valatorian. I believe him. Do you? <laughs> uh, Valatorian, baby. That's huge. Yeah, Congratulations. I was top of the class, and I, I actually um, also had a D1 scholarship to Duke. To Duke. Wow. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, for basketball. Um, but really, you were pre-law. Like, you wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, because I started off as business, and I didn't really like that. And then I tried finances. I didn't mm -hmm. like that. So then I went to pre-law because I liked watching, like, cop shows and learning how psychopath killers minds work and like how they kill people and oh exo with the 15 dollar donation and mac with the five dollar donation thank you yeah um and so you liked those shows and yeah so yeah. then you became a 
Well, I just Fortnite I, streamer. Yeah, Fortnite streamer. Fortnite. I don't know. I just really liked getting inside the minds of like, like the people who commit like serial crimes and like serial killers and how they how their minds work and why they did what they did and like how their minds were wired differently than mine. Cool. Uh, I my degree is in agriculture. I like plants and oh animals. A little, little bit. You're scaring her. No, 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 I'm not one of those. I'm just saying that was like my type of like, I really enjoyed those shows, like Criminal Maya Run. Guys, I'm not, I feel fine. Do you feel comfortable? Are you safe? Yes, I feel great. Okay, good. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. I really appreciate that. Yes. Um, I did the usual before we started the stream day. I asked Lacey if he was scared of anything. Um, and he said everything. I'm, no, hold on. I'm quote i'm not quote, i'm not scared verbatim. of anything I'm that's not, crazy i'm not scared of a single thing oh my gosh we got a 25 dollars donation thank you so much he said quote everything i'm not making that up i'm not a fake demon fake demon i learned that one yesterday as well oh you didn't know what that was before no tell him what i learned today the word coomer <laughs> Have you guys ever heard the word coomer <laughs> ever used before? Yes, 100% they know what that means. No one knows what that word means. He literally, he looked at me like I was crazy. See, th <laughs> yes, they know what that means. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They're saying, yeah. <laughs> what is a coomer? How old is your demographic? Wait, is co how old is my demographic? Um, Like 25. Oh, yeah. You guys say, um, you guys say uh, gooning now. Coomer and gooner are the same thing? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Oh, never... it's a gooner. Okay, that makes sense. I understand now. I understand it now. Get out. What? <laughs> I gotta, a, I gotta catch you up on, on the new like brain what rot. What was that? Do you, you don't know what Get Out is? I know the movie. No. So like, all right, I'm gonna give you a scenario. Say a joke, okay? Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Hold on, I need to think of a knock knock joke. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. I don't know. You I said it without have having one in the back of your mind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a joke. Can okay, you well, like pretend like I told you a joke. No, no, no. So basically, the get out meme is based. See, they're putting the email right now. It's when you say a joke, and and they throw you out. It's when it's not funny. So, like, imagine I said like, "Hawk Tua, get out." Ugh. Yeah. God, that one didn't. Sorry, that tough, was mean. That came out way meaner. Tough meaner crowd than here. Intended. Tough crowd. I'm here. sorry. I didn't mean. No, to but say that it was like the that. point of the joke. You don't like Hawk Tua. <laughs> She seems lovely. Um, and the cat looking sideways at me. Yeah, so what someone said asking about his cat. You have a cat? cat? You have a pet cat? Do you have pets? I had a pet cat. Oh. Um, oh my. They're, they like to make it seem like it's a bad thing that I did. I didn't do anything bad. So okay. I got a cat, okay? I was living in Florida at the time. Ooh. I got a cat. It was a little black cat. Cute. Yeah, his name was Fetty. He's not dead. Do not say R.I.P. And I, this was before I joined FaZe, mm -hmm. like before I like moved to LA and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was traveling a lot mm -hmm. at this time and I couldn't take care of the cat. Okay. Like I knew like responsibly as a human being, this cat would be at home alone. Right. And I was going to be traveling. Uh -huh. So I found a loving family and gave him to them. Is there no catch there? That's it? That's it. They think that I used them for content for a week and sold them. That's not what happened. That's what they like to frame me as this bad guy. Huh. I did not buy him and use him for content. I did get a couple million view TikToks out of out of the cat. Okay, why did you say that? Dude? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't. That made you look so bad. You, it was so fine until you just said that. That's crazy. I didn't purposely do that. Okay, well, don't do that again. I would never do that again. No. Then we can stay friends. Okay. All right. Well, that was great. Is there anything else that I should that I should know about me? Sure. Oh, don't ask them. They're just gonna tell you everything. Chat. Anything else I should know about? About Here Lacey? we go. Here we go. Yeah. Does Let's he have any the... secrets? I have a question. What does that word mean? What? I don't want to say them. I'm scared to say them. What word? Say it again. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, which that one? The one that starts with P. P on? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, it's just like someone who's lesser than you. Like you a peon to me. Well, what is that like? What's the origin of that word? I have no idea. It's an actual word. Is it? It's a word. Oh. We're yeah, both I don't know. stupid. I don't know. I just started using it because Max and Jason used it, so now I just call everybody a peon. Um, Understanding was epic. Yeah, they say that too. What is the joke that you're on it? Yeah, so I lost a lot of weight, so they just, instead of crediting me and saying, good job, Lacey, you know, they you lost a lot of weight epic. and you look so handsome and good now and any girl in the world would be lucky to have you. 
Um, they just say that I'm on Ozempic. Okay. Pretty much. That. Yes. But it's a joke. I'm not actually on it. I've never actually taken that. I don't give a shit if you're on it. No, I'm Ozempic. not. I'm just saying I'm not. I'm just, that's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter either way. Um, and then I know that they like to say, well, this one's not. I don't really get. There's no origin to saying muted, but with two T's, correct? Mudded? Just like instead of saying muted. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, there's an origin. What it's is it? Flight. Flight has a clip where he goes, my mic's mudded. And then he does like a dolphin laugh. He goes, ah, 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 ah. I can't do it because I have a lost voice right now from screaming so much. See, they're mudded. And okay. then there's the flight emote. Wait, can you owe me 44? <laughs> Come, one more we time. need a Maya 44. One more time. Okay, so you have to look at the camera and you go like I would rather die than do that right now. Okay, sorry for asking. <laughs> Sorry for asking. Look, they're doing it. They want you to do it. Wow. Uh, that's really nice. Okay, good. Great. This is an excellent start. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good about today, guys. Let's get into some animals. Let's let's meet some animals. <laughs> I'm very worst good with animals. Guest. He's not the worst guest, guys. I'm the best guest. He's fine. I'm the best. Yeah, he's he's doing a really good job. It's been it's been very natural. Lacey. Lacey is so ugly. Why did you read that one? I don't know. Why are they saying that? I think that was one guy that said that. I don't think you have to read uh, that. Look, they're all saying it right now. It's weird. <laughs> Dude, I actually like it. Lacey's so ugly. <laughs> chat, chat. Can you just like type like a like a like a colon and a parentheses or something? Colon and a parentheses. What's that? Lacey, please. What is that? Can you just just be normal for like one second? Can you just can you just thank you? Look, look at that. Oh, what a nice. Oh, a smiley face. face. He said, "What is that?" Oh, everybody type a smiley face. Look there how we go. nice. Oh my God, they're so nice. Thanks, guys. You're so dumb. Okay. Stop reading them. So oh, fast. sorry, Anna. This is why. You you want to know why your community is so mean to you? Why? From from 26 year old streamer to 21 year old streamer. What do I need these for? We'll just put them on. And I'll, okay. Um, because your chat, they're fans of you. And they're going to say they're not, but they are. That's why they watch you. And oh. they want to be noticed. They want your attention, right? So then when you only read when people are like, Lacey, you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid. Please don't clip that. That no, looks so bad. No one said that. <laughs> I, you're just coming up with those off the top of your head. No one even said that in the chat just now. <laughs> when, you, when you read only those things... Everyone's gonna say those things <laughs> because they want your attention. Because they like you. Ready, I got a joke. Ready, ready, ready? Glove doesn't fit. Get it, like, because OJ Simpson did the glove. Okay, our first animal today. Let's get into it. We have to wear gloves for. Get out! And his name is Georgie. Oh my gosh, it's a big ta. You guys keep saying that, and I still don't know what that means. <laughs> this is Georgie. It's a ta. It's a frog. Can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch him. Okay, where? You can touch him on his back. Oh, he just drooled a little bit. No, he didn't. <laughs> This is an African bullfrog. This is the second largest species of frog in the world. His name is Georgie. We're wearing gloves today. Lacey's wearing gloves because he's going to hold him. I'm going to hand him to you. Hey, buddy. Is he hissing? He's just complaining. Okay. He doesn't, hands bite. Together. He doesn't bite, does he? No, no, no. Um, that's nice. Oh, hey, hey Ta. Hey, that's Georgie. Nice, Georgie. So we're wearing gloves because he's an amphibian. Oh, he's moving. Um, and one of the things... One of the very cool things about amphibians is they have semi-permeable skin. So they can soak things up through their skin. So whatever you have on your hands, if you had like, I don't know, like something weird, like a substance or like something crazy on your hands, mm -hmm. he would soak it up through his skin. So, so you have to wear gloves to protect him. Oh, okay. Oh, he said he looks like you. Yesterday they were saying he looks like Jason. I don't think We're so. not twins, guys. Do we... Oh my gosh, my eyes falling. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I hurt him? No, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. We have a uh, um, Drew on the on this side camera today. You want to give him a, a zoom in? 
There you go, Drew. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's cool. That? that looks great. No, that's a great yeah, that's angle a really you got shot. there, Drew. <laughs> Drew, that is a phenomenal <laughs> angle you got there. It doesn't point up. W, <laughs> w Drew, man. Drew snapped. I told you. <laughs> Here, let me reposition them. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Buddy. Hi, George. Georgie or Georgia? Georgie. Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Georgie. He's amazing. If you want to put him on the table, you can. Okay. Georgie, um, you're always going to rib it. <laughs> he's going to rib it, he said. <laughs> so, you know how I just said they can soak things up through their skin? That makes them really sensitive to pollutants, like in the water. They can soak gross things up through their skin. So they need very, very clean water. Oh. Um, 33% of amphibians worldwide are at risk. Do you know how a pregnancy test works? Um, yeah, you put the little tube thing, you pee on it, you pee on it. Yeah. <laughs> pee on it, and yeah. then it gives you a plus or a negative to see if you're pregnant or not. Yes. Um, so before we had those little disposable sticks uh, that we peed on, that people peed on, yep. people would inject urine into the backs of African clawed frogs, and if the pregnancy hormone was there, then they would lay eggs. And that's how we knew if women were pregnant. What? Yeah, back in the 60s, before we had disposable oh. tests. That's crazy. I know. Very sad. Um, and so we brought a isn't bunch of African clawed frogs into the U.S. Wait, to use that kind as of pregnancy tests. Isn't that kind of like messed up? Yeah, it's very sad. We brought a bunch of them into the U.S. to use for pregnancy tests. Um, and it's potentially the origin of chytrid fungus, which is a pathogen that's hurting amphibians worldwide. Here's another close up I got the Drew, the Drew oh nice Drew here you go that's Drew very nice that's one cute little dude there's Georgie aww W Ta you know what he eats Lacey what yes um okay Is it, I can do this probably if I had to guess um let's say um crickets good guess yeah he can eat crickets uh, he does eat crickets he also eats mice yeah He's a big guy. He's like full, like alive, alive or dead? dead? Well, you give him frozen thawed mice. What? You buy them frozen. How's thawed. where does it go? How's he digest that? He just swallows it. Eats mice. Big chunky guy, kind of crazy. Yes, he is a carnivorous frog. Um, but when he was a baby, when he was a tadpole, they eat lots of mosquito larvae. Um, so if you guys don't like mosquitoes, we need to do a really good job protecting frogs. Otherwise, the world will be overrun by mosquitoes. Really? That's one of the reasons frogs are important. I tried ant larva one time. How's that? Mm, it was okay. Okay. Thanks for the anecdote. <laughs> He's a throat goat. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for that, too. You want to give him a rating out of 10? Him? Yeah. I think he's sick. Okay. He's cool. Chat, you guys like him? Can he jump? He can. I, he did a backflip one time. This is Georgie as a baby. Check him out. Wait. On screen. Oh. Baby Georgie. Aww. That was him Wait, as- Wait, this is such a cute comparison, size comparison. That was him as a tadpole? No, that's him as a baby frog. Look, Georgie Whoa. then, and Georgie now. He's so big, oh, he's cute. W Georgie. <laughs> Have him do a flip. He can't do a flip, guys. No, he did one time, I swear. Can he jump right now? No. Or is he not? He doesn't know like he, commands. He did. No, he doesn't know commands. Oh, okay. He did a flip one time. We were trying to feed him uh, and it was just like over the top of his head. So he like flipped over to grab it. He did a backflip. I swear. It was sick. I'm going to give Georgie a 9.5 out of 10. That's nice. Thank you. That's Guys, cute. don't litter because it's bad for frogs and they'll soak up the pollutants through their skin and frogs are very important. Right, Lacey? Yes. Don't litter, guys. I would never, ever litter. Make sure you guys do not litter. Wait, in like the in the ocean or um, in the street? Anywhere, Lacey. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I've never seen a frog just running around on the street before. Well, frogs live in waterways and water runs off from the street into waterways. You can take your gloves off. Okay. <sighs> Orange is the new black. Get out. <laughs> give, me the, give me the gloves. This must be a good joke. <laughs> You're laughing at it, you liked it. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. All right. Um, next up, we have a, a reptile. Oh, uh, wait, reptile, that means amphibian. No, it does not. But 
Um, I don't really have a way to make you feel better on that one. They're different. <laughs> oh. This is, <laughs> this is Toaster Strudel. Toast is a blue-tongued skink. Look at him. Whoa. You want to touch it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is his tongue blue? Um. Oh, this is scary. Okay, where? What, ha you can, anyway, you can touch him back here. Okay. Um, <gasps> why do animals have bright colors in the wild? Um, so that they can blend into the trees. That's the opposite. So that. Go again, we're not live, we'll cut that. So that they don't blend into the, the, <laughs> the nature. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, to, to, to tell other animals that they're poisonous, right? If they have a really okay. bright color, then they're like, don't, don't mess with me, like, I'm, I'm poisonous. Oh, but can't, wait, can he change colors? No, oh. but that's why his tongue is blue. Oh. He's not poisonous, though. <laughs> it's like you haven't processed any of that. Wait, 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 hold on. He's right. not poisonous, guys. <laughs> Wait, so you just said that he does, he's his color because he's poisonous. Yeah, he's a, a fake demon. Oh, Toaster Strudel's a fake demon. Yeah, it's called Dymatic Display. Dymatic Display. Yeah. That's a new one in the dictionary. Yep. You wanna, um, you wanna spell Dymatic Display? Actually, Silky couldn't. Di say it again. Dymatic Display. Dymatic Display. You can spell it on the... Dymatic Display. Yeah. Okay. Dymatic Display. That's really, that's not a bad guess. It's not a bad guess at all. That's not it? No. What is it? It's a tough word, it's okay. Why are you guys calling me an idiot? No, that's okay. They wouldn't know how to spell that either. They're Googling, they're Googling. Yeah, they're Googling it. Well, what if he? He's aware of edges. Oh. Dimatic. D-E-I-matic. Okay, well, I feel like that doesn't really make sense. It should be D-I-E. Who came Di up? <laughs> who came up with the spelling of that word? Very complicated question. Um, do you want to hold him? Yeah, I'll, go, I'll give him. I'll give it a go. He won't like bite me, right? Uh, no. Okay. No. He is a little sharp. Like he has little nails. Uh, so there's like tiny little scratchies. Okay. But you'll be just. How do I do it? <laughs> you just want to support like as much of his body weight as possible. So that's fine. This. Wow, your hands are clammy, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit, Maya. This is oh my God. a scary day for me. Wow. Okay? Wow. Okay. <laughs> There's Toaster Strudel. He's nice. And he probably likes that your hands are, are hot um, because that's how they regulate their body temperature is okay. with external heat sources. So one of the important things that I talk to people about with toast, he looks very natural and comfy in your hands right now. Really? You think he likes me? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Toast. Nice. Can I give him a kiss? No. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, he's licking me. He's smelling. Oh, he's... They smell with their tongue, like snakes. How does that? They have something called the Jacobson's organ in the roof of their mouth. And so they catch particles on their tongue, bring it into their mouth, and then that's how they get the information for smells. He probably smells my lotion. Probably, yeah. Um, do you know what he eats? Um, yeah, no, I'm thinking, I'm trying, oh, to, sorry. I'm okay. trying to compare it to what, like, sorry. a snake would. Yeah, no, so keep... I'm going to say he eats frogs. Um, no. Maybe if they're really small. Uh, he likes to eat bugs. Okay. He likes to eat snails. Oh. This is a lizard from Australia. Gardeners don't like having bugs in their garden, right? So then we put pesticides on our plants. And then the bugs eat the pesticides and get poisoned. And then he eats the bugs, and then he gets poisoned. That's called bioaccumulation. So when we use pesticides and we use rodenticides... Um, it moves up in the food chain, which can be really hard on mm -hmm. wildlife, so. That's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. So that's one of the things we talk about with Toast. You wanna put him on the table? Yeah. All right, Toast. You know, you're the only phase member that didn't hold him oh. out like a money spread. Oh. 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 oh, All right, Toast. Okay. Every other phase guy I've had hold this lizard, they hold him out like this, and they go like that. Why? I don't know, it's like natural or something, but not for you. Um, do you know what his penis looks like? Um, you want me to draw it? Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. Here, wait. I'll I'll draw the lizard. Okay. This is him, right? Yep. Okay. Now draw his penis. Uh. Oh 
Okay, now erase it. That's crazy. What? That's the only thing I could think of. What, that what other really penis could he have? Though. That's crazy. Uh, they have a hemi penis. What is that? Um, snakes also have a hemi penis. Um, so they actually have two heads, and they look like that. He has two penises. Mm -hmm. Lucky guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. This is anatomically incorrect. Sorry, lizard nerds. It's like this. Sorry. Oh, it goes that way. I know everyone was really stressed about that. They're like, ooh, that's wrong. Wait, so how does... Do, so, like, does he reproduce with those? Mm-hmm. Double the odds. Oh, he puts... Oh. Echidnas have a four-headed penis. Um, it's like a spiny anteater. They have four heads. And the female echidnas have a dual vaginal tract. Um, so they alternate between sets of heads. And then if they're alternating, they can, they can use one set, ejaculate, and then switch to the other set and go back to back. Oh, maybe go around. Yeah, I just thought you'd think that was interesting. That is interesting. That's, mad. That's actually cool. Wait, so can this one, can he go back to back? That, I'm actually not sure. I feel like... No. No? But I'm not sure. I would have to research that. The hunt. Good to know. Good to see they're writing that down. They're note. Yeah, they're noting it. Noting. That is, yeah, that's noted. So like they're just they're basically like writing it down so they know it. They're calling him a double pump. <laughs> that what I understand. What about when they type in cursive or is that just that one guy? In cursive? Yeah. What do you mean? It's like he wrote it in like a fancy font. Or does that mean nothing? I have no idea. He said freaky ah uh, lizard in cursive. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Who yeah. trying to get freaky? Okay. Yeah, no, that's just um, them being weird. Oh, okay. Basically, yeah. See, that's those are my people when they write it down. Did you see that guy? Which one? It's it's like noting. It's just it's just a different people. And he's taking notes. He's got a little hat on. Where are they? He a uh, lizard. See okay. the little guy sitting down. Oh, I see it. He's writing that down. Write that down. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, uh you got, wait. So is that like your own emo? Is that an Elvis yeah. emote? Yeah. Yeah, it's an Elvis emote. By the way, if you guys want to, to spoil the, the stream for today, we have 24-7 live cams on all of our animal enclosures. Uh, so if you want to see the animals all day, you can watch them 24-7 on your second monitor. It's pretty sweet. And you can support the sanctuary that way too, because it's on Twitch. There's another support sanctuary, $15 donation. Thank you so much. Support um, the animals. Excellent. All right, rate toast, please. I'm going to give toast. A 10 out of 10. I like his tongue. Yay! And 10 he was, out of he was 10. licking me a little bit. It felt cool. That's nice. All right. W you can, toast. You can erase the, the whiteboard if you'd like. Okay. Ow. Cap? What do you mean cap? W toast? Yeah, toast was cool. Chat, I'm scared. I'm scared. Um. Did she, did she just leave? Uh, toast a fake demon? You guys act like Toast would eat you guys up. Toast would literally eat you guys. GG's? Wait, what is she getting? <laughs> she has a cow that looks like you. Nope, guys. No, she doesn't, bro. She does not have any... None of these animals look like me. I would let him... Put the eraser on the board. Oh. What? How's that work? You're mudded. I'm not mudded, bro. I'm not mudded. All right. Next up. Oh. Oh. Maya, 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 Maya. This is Pat. Ooh. This is Patchy. Um, Silky and Adopt didn't get to meet Patchy yesterday because she didn't come out. This is Patchy. Okay. Patchy. Hey, Patchy. Patchy is a ball python. They're called ball pythons because when they get scared, they just roll up into a ball. Oh. Yeah, they're nice. You can touch it here if you want. Some people think reptiles are slimy and gross. They actually mm -hmm. go really nice, right? Yeah, he's cool. Her name's Patchy because she only has one eye. How'd that happen? See? She was born with only one. See that side doesn't have an eye. Aww. Here, I'll show you guys. So, she was born with just this one eye, um, and that's because she was bred for color for the pet trade. So people um, like to have.
cool looking non-natural color snakes as pets. And sometimes when you breed for color, you get genetic defects. Uh, so that's how Patchy got here. She was bred for the pet trade, was born with only one eye, so they couldn't sell her to pet stores. And then we rescued her here. But she does really well with just the one eye. Would you like to hold her? Yeah. What do you guys mean comfort Patchy? How do I do it? Um, I would like where my hands are, I would just replace with oh, your hands. There's a like there this? You go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Very nice. Hold her over the table. Yeah, just in case. Oh, oh. There's her head. A lot of people are really scared of snakes. Um, one of the reasons is snakes can be venomous. There are over 3,000 species of snake. Can be? Um, mm -hmm. she, she's not. Though. Only 20% of snake species are venomous. This is not one of them. She is a constrictor. Um, so if she were to eat something, she would do it by constricting it. Um, and suffocating it to eat it, but she would not do that to you because snakes can only eat things that are about as big as the largest portion of their body, which is like this. Okay. So Patchy can eat like big mice or really small rats. Um, snakes are not gonna like constrict you around the neck and then not eat you. That's that's not what they do. Um, and venomous snakes aren't gonna bite you um, just because they just cause. Uh, yeah. They would only do that if you accidentally stepped on them. Snakes are just going to be afraid of Wait, you. Wait, how is she so strong to like lift her neck up like that? There's a lot of muscles in there. Isn't she kind of cute? Yeah. Patchy, so nice. Um, this is an African snake. Uh, they're poached a lot out of the wild for the pet trade. So people go out and like grab them out of the wild and then try to ship them here. Like through LAX, they, they confiscate. A bunch of snakes like shoved into PVC pipe that are people are trying to sell as pets. Um, the reptile what? trade sees a lot of exploitation of of animals, and ball oh. pythons are are in that group for sure. Yo. She's sniffing around. She's cool. She has her tongue sniffing. What do you guys think? Isn't she kind of cute? Snakes S are way chiller than people think. I promise. Oh, sad SpongeBob. Is that how you process, like, in your brain as well? When I hear sad things, I think of sad Spongebob, <laughs> yeah. is, like, laying in his room alone, staring at the ceiling. He's like, oh, sad Spongebob. Yes, that's how I process. <laughs> Look at how cute she is. You see those holes on the sides of her face? Yeah. So, oh, nice, Drew. Um, the holes on the sides of her face are heat-sensing organs or pit organs. Um, so she can kind of, like, see her prey's heat signature. Um, so think... Think those cameras where you can see heat and color. Uh -huh. It's kind of like that. Infrared camera. Yeah, sort of. Um, and she smells with her tongue. So snakes have a pronged tongue that looks oh. like this. Oh. You guys know what snake tongues look like, right? Yeah, of course we do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some new research has come out um, that shows that these prongs are so sensitive. If they're tracking prey, like if they're tracking a little mouse or something, if they catch more particles on this side of the prong than this side, then they'll veer to the right. So that is a theory for why their tongues are split. Fun fact. They also have a head of see, Can I see his tongue? Yeah, she's like, been sticking it out. Her, yeah, her tongue. Sniffing. I want to see it close up. Oh, <laughs> it is split. Pretty cool. Wow, thank you for the $100 donation. Andrew, thank you so much. W Andrew in the chat. So cool. Less scary than you thought, right? Wait, why is she, um, why is she like compressing me? Like, she's just holding, she... she's holding on. Uh oh. That's how they move. Oh, am I doing bad? No, you're doing a good job. Okay. She's fine. Um. Hmm. Um, what's this one? <clears throat> Snakes also shed their skin to grow. This is one of Patchy's sheds. Wait, that came from her? Mm-hmm, but now she's much bigger. So this was a shed from when she was a baby. She was little itty bitty. Now she's grown up very nicely. Wait, so will she shed this? Mm-hmm. What? How old is she? She's two or three years old. She's young still. This is the top of her body. You can still kind of see the pattern in that shed too, which is really neat. And then, um, on the back side of this, this is her belly scales. So they're kind of longer and they go across and they're kind of like little feet. They scoop up the ground as she's moving forward and that's how snakes move. Lacey cannot eat it. I'm not eating that. <laughs> she did not prestige, bruh. 
What does that mean? <laughs> it's like in, it's like in video games when you rank up. Oh, see, I've never really played a video game. That's you not ever true. played a video game? I've played video games before. Played Animal Crossing last week. Okay. What about like a, have you ever played like a shooting? I have played Fortnite before for I've a couple times. I've done that a couple times. What about uh, Call of Duty? No. Okay. I played uh, Counter Strike before. Oh, okay. That's that's fair. Um. I've. Oh, they're saying you're good at CS:GO. No, I am not good at CS:GO. I've never been anywhere near ranked in CS:GO. I have. I have played that game before though. Um, and I used to play Lego Star Wars back in the day. It's good. What? You're scared right now? My arm's getting tired. Oh, that's crazy. She's kind of heavy. Oh. Oh, I don't think I don't think she wants to leave me. She likes you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> she's like, wait. She's making. She's oh, okay. patchy. Uh, patchy. <laughs> that's nice, patchy. She fat shaming a snake. I did not fat shame her. Here she is. Did the one eye. Where are you going? Look how cute she is, chat. Yeah, she's really cute. She's a ball python. This is Patchy the ball python. Um, so overall, you guys just don't have to be nearly as scared of snakes as you think. Um, you're nine times more likely to die via lightning strike in the US than snake bite. Really? Mm-hmm. Odds are very low. I didn't even know that. Snakes are super chill. Cool. Rate right, Patchy. 10. Respect. I think I fell in love with Patchy. That's nice. Patchy. Okay. Give Patchy your eye. Yeah, asshole. Give it to her. Put gloves on again. Gloves for this one? Yep. We're switching gears. God. She needs it more. <laughs> what did Jason say? It's bug hey, time. Jason. Time for bugs. What did Jason say? I can't see it. Pinned? I can't see pinned. He said to retire her. What does that mean? Jason wants me to retire you. Me? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, I don't. They just they tell they tell me to retire people. They tell all of us to retire people. Like. I don't even know what it means to be honest. What does that mean? <laughs> Chat. What does retire even mean? It, oh, retire the snake. Okay, so you guys want me to retire the snake? What does that mean? Like give her money? Yeah. They want so me to, she can retire. Want me to give the snake money so she never has to work again and she can retire. Hi, Jason. Um. Oh wait. Oh boy, here we go. You're saying hi to Jason? <laughs> yes, I'm saying hi to Jason. Don't you guys have a kid on the way? No. Um, but we do have a 24-7 Twitch channel called Alveus Sanctuary. It's A-L-V-E-U-S Sanctuary, where you can watch animals all day long. Actually, is that actually a thing? Yes, at least he it's already 24 said I thought it was only when you went live. No, I already said that. So I could just pull up the channel whenever I want and see like a monkey. Mm-hmm. 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 It's pretty cool. Thank you, everybody. So just to confirm, you Thank and you Jason don't have a kid on the way? Just to confirm, um, me and Jason are having a kid at twitch.tv slash A-L-V-E-U-S Sanctuary. You're having a, you're giving birth on Twitch? Maybe. I don't know. Go go find out. Okay. Okay. I'm really sick of that joke. I'm going to be so real. It was such a mistake. I had to I ask. Did it, I did it one day. That was the only thing I've seen. I did it one day because I wanted to see if it would end up on Twitter and see if it would end up farming, and I will never get away from it ever again. Yeah, no, you won't ever. I know. But I had to ask. That's fine. That's fair. Um, shameless advertising. I am utilizing Twitter and the internet's obsession with Jason the Ween for the betterment of animals in our natural world. Have you been seeing my, me going viral recently? No, I actually haven't. What are you going viral for? I've been for? going viral for, you know the song ETA? You're not going viral for that. Jason's going viral for that. No, 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 that, that was me. No, I was, was Jason. No, ready to just, just ring a bell? 
I was pushing I was pushing him, Jason, in the clip, and I went viral for it. I would love to live in a brain like yours, Lacey. I would love. I'm not, That's said, awesome. That's a real thing. No, Really happy for you. Thank you. That's I appreciate so cool. it. I'm probably going to meet new jeans soon, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Okay, um, we're switching gears. We put gloves back on. Why? Because uh, we are now going to be handling bugs. Pause. They're saying F. We're back. We're back. Okay. Okay. Bug time. Well, uh... Bug time. These are zebra isopods, everybody. Um... Isopods? Isopods, also known as roly polies. You see them? They're like little roly polies. W, Drew? Anybody? I'm your PR team. <laughs> I'm like trying to help people hate you less. Um, these are isopods. This is like the Mediterranean version of the roly poly that you're used to seeing. Here you go. You can hold this log. Hold it over the top of the thing. This is my gateway bug, Lacey. If you uh, this is the starter. Yeah, if, if you're afraid of these, you're gonna have a hard time. I think for the for the rest of this segment. Okay. Yeah, he's brave. He's brave. It's nothing to a guy like me. That's nice. Um, these guys are really important because they're uh, detritivores. Do you know what that means? Say that. Say the word again. Detritivore. That means they s only sleep during the day. No, but that, that's diurnal, which kind of has the same sound if you say it really fast. Diurnal, dinovore. Yeah. All right, what does it mean? Uh, detritivores are animals that break down decaying matter. So if we have stuff that's rotting away or plants that are dying, they break those things down. So we can have dirt and soils uh, that we can use to grow new things. That is not an insect. It's, it's actually a crustacean. And there are 10,000 species of isopods, and they can be anywhere from this size and like the little babies in there I to this size. Uh, what? This is how big giant marine isopods are. These live in our like, oceans. Like that, like actual size? Today. Mm -hmm. How come I've never seen one of them? Because they live at the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Do whales eat them? No. <laughs> whales eat krill. Oh. Yeah, and they don't go to the bottom of the ocean. Do you have any whales here or no? No. These are cool. Oh, one's crawling on me a little bit. Oh, never mind. Say it in Fortnite terms. Uh, they... She has you next to her. Guys, I'm not a whale. You set your... You both set yourself up for that and then finish it I'm for not yourself. A, I'm not a whale. Why are they... That's crazy. <laughs> this one's going really fast. Yeah, he's fast. Okay, so you like them? Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Insects, bugs, I know this isn't an insect. This is a crustacean. If you were allergic to shrimp and you ate these, you'd be allergic to them too because they're related to crabs, lobsters, stuff like that. Wait, there's like edible versions of these? Well, I mean, they're, they're like, like, crabs and lobsters are crustaceans and they're yeah. like edible, sure, yeah. And so, the, yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. What? <laughs> it's just like, like can I go to like a fancy restaurant and be like, yo, can I get a, can I get one of those bugs from Detroit? No, probably not. I think people sometimes eat Marine isopods, don't they? Or is that just in that one movie? I've never seen anyone eat one of those. I feel like personally. some people eat giant marine isopods. Or maybe I'm being crazy. I don't know. Marine isopods. Um, is that just of course? Yeah, of course. Of course. It means like, like if I say, oh, I'm hungry right now. They'll say, of oh, course. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Um, bugs are really, really important. They rule our planet. We have over a million species of invertebrate. You know the difference between an invertebrate and a vertebrate? Yeah, actually. Okay. Um, invertebrate is, <clears throat> it means they don't have a backbone. Yeah, yeah, invertebrates yeah. do have a backbone. So all vertebrates, birds, mammals, reptiles combined, like everything you think of when you think animal, uh -huh. there's like may, not even 50,000 species. There's like 300,000 species of just beetles. Just beetles, like the family, like How? that kind of bug. Bugs rule our planet. They're so, so, so important and people hate them, but if we didn't have bugs, we would all die. You wanna have a, hear a theory I have? Sure. I think that bugs are humans. Now, 
Stay with me here. I'm saying. I think that bugs live their own lives. So like ants, they have their own civilizations. They have their own language that they talk to each other. Mm -hmm. They have little little baby bugs that go to school every day. The yeah. parent bugs that stay home. Mm -hmm. I think they have their own like civilization. Um, they do have their own civilizations. I don't, I think that makes them like it, we have something in common with them. I don't think it makes them humans though. Oh well, no, not necessarily. They have like human life. No. They, they live a life like a human, if that... Yeah, they do. They have, like, colonies, and they all have their own jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying. You're, yeah, you're I see what you're up. saying. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Thank you for the $5 donation. Um, What's the big animal on the right in the black shirt? I'm, I'm a human, guys. I'm not a... I'm not part of the sanctuary. I'm just here visiting, talking to the animals. I'm going to bring you another bug. I'm gonna bring you an arachnid. That's spiders. Nice. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, I'm spiders. <clears throat> Not a fake demon. Not a fake. Don't be a fake demon. Don't be a fake demon. <sighs> okay. Spiders arachnids, scare me a little bit. Arachnids. Uh include several things. Spiders are one of the things that arachnids include. Um, it also includes scorpions. So this is a scorpion. I'm allergic to bees. Okay. I'm not sure if that matters. Well, I don't know, because I don't scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> don't scorpions sting? Yeah. You actually, there, there might be an overlap there with venom. I'm not sure. This is a venomous bug. Um, scorpions can sting, yes. Um, you're not going to be holding it. Don't worry. Okay. You hold it? No. Um, this is Puppy. His name is Puppy. Okay. Look at him. This is a baby emperor scorpion. Oh. What do you think? Chat? I, yeah, he looks cool. It's okay, buddy. You want to look? You want to look at him? There he is. This is Puppy. He's just a little baby emperor scorpion. Wow. So cute. So, so he, could, cute. he could kill? Absolutely not. Um, you would be fine if you got stung. I mean, it would hurt, but like you wouldn't have to go to the hospital unless you had an allergic reaction. Um, this is, again, he's a baby. When he's an adult, um, he'll be about this size on screen. So he'll be about the size of, of my hand. Holy. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Um, this is how he grows. So you know how snakes shed? Scorpions grow like this. Oh, I've seen that before. Um, they have them on the trees. Cicada molts, yeah, same thing. Yeah, they molt their, their exoskeleton. So this is, this is how they grow. This is like a little baby book. There's six scorpion sheds in here. This was puppy's very first shed, the smallest one when he first got here. And then that's his second shed and this was his most recent shed, this big one down here. Pretty cool, w right? Tech. So he just like, when that happens, is that painful for them? I don't think it's painful. It can be dangerous for them. Like it's it's a it's quite a process. I can just for them imagine them being in their little shells and being. Like, that is exactly what they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have a really really cool party trick. You want to see? We have to turn the lights off. Yeah. To show you. Party trick. These guys are really important for the environment because they are carnivorous bugs. So they're natural pest control. They eat other bugs. Okay. Smaller ones though, right? Yeah. So like they would eat the, the... They could, yeah. 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 So here he eats crickets and mealworms and stuff. Oh. This is a black light. So the button's on the top. Okay. Press it right now. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah. All right. And then you can show him in the black light. It won't like hurt his eyes? No. It's okay. Oh! <gasps> Yo! <laughs> They fluoresce under under black light. That's sick. He's neon blue. Yeah, and then turn it off. Can't see him. Turn it on. Whoa. Cool, right? So the theory is that they can find each other like this when they're when they're mating. We don't know a ton about that yet. Um, in science, hopefully we we learn more. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Always. Oh, Pretty cool. That's huh? sick. All right. Wait, so they, that means that they have black light vision. We can turn the light back on. Yeah, um, bugs can see, I mean, lots of animals can see lots of colors that we can't. Um, but they definitely have the ability to see 
things that we cannot. It's very, very interesting. I bet he gets all the huzz. Do you want to know how scorpions mate? I don't know why I think that you would think all this is interesting. I do. A 21 year old okay. boy, I guess. Okay, scorpions mate. Let me, can I guess? Yeah, sure. I'm going to guess that he puts his stinger inside of another scorpion. Whoa. Uh, no. Okay. Because that would be stinging them. So here. Here is, oh gosh, how do you, here's a, a scorpion, right? That's a pretty good drawing. Thank you. Here's a scorpion. Okay. Where do you think its genitalia is? I don't like this. Okay, there you go. Where do you think its genitalia is? Uh, I'm going to say... I'll make this easy for you because that this segment thing is dumb. I want to say it's by the claws. Okay. I want to say they got a little something coming out of the claws here. Interesting. Like that. No one's ever guessed that before. Um, it's not right, but it's an interesting guess. Uh, so <laughs> it's, it's kind of where you'd expect. It's about right there. Oh. Um, and so male scorpions, they will drop a spermatophore, which is a sperm packet. So they'll drop a spermatophore on the ground, mm -hmm. right? And then the female will intake that spermatophore. So he'll grab her by the, the claws and then pull her on top of the sperm packet and she'll intake it here. Oh, they got some freaky stuff. Yeah. So it literally is a packet of sperm that sits on the ground. What? Kind of cool. Drop the carrot. It's a loot drop. It is a loot drop. Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they just drop it on the ground. Mm -hmm. So like he just squats down, drops it, mm -hmm. takes his claws, mm -hmm. grabs her, mm -hmm. and pulls her onto it. Yep. Do you That's know how cool. uh, snails mate? Snails. Here, you want to guess? Yeah. What else? <laughs> Here's a little snail. Where's his genitalia? Hmm. <laughs> okay. It, but it's, it's, here's my prediction. Okay. My prediction is the snail's tucked in, right? So the genitalia is right here. It's tucked in so he can still slither around the ground. But then when he gets aroused by another snail, that's when it comes out into action and he lifts up. So retractable. Yeah. A lot of animals do have retractable penises. Um, and it's not a bad theory. So their genitalia is like around their neck area. So they have two things. They have a penis and they have a dart. Like a sharp, it's like a needle. It really does look like a needle. Um, it's like a white needle that comes out of their neck. Snails are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female sex organs. Okay. Both male snails, here's another male snail, they want to play the male role because then they can go spread their genetics to a bunch of snails, right? As opposed to having to be the female to carry the, the one male's genetics. So, because mm. they both have male and female sex organs, when snails go to mate, they fight each other and they try to stab each other with this dart because this dart, dart, has sperm boosting secretions. So the more this snail stabs this snail, the more likely he is to play the male role. If this snail stabs this snail more, then he will play the so male role. So they have the, the two, they have sex with each other? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, oh, okay. So it's like a stabbing battle to see who gets to be male. And then, so they basically, it's like they have sex with each other, and then whichever snail has better sex gets to have sex with the female to create. Whichever snail, yeah, whichever snail does more stabby, stabby. Okay. Yeah. No, that actually makes sense. That actually makes sense a lot. It's basically whichever one, whichever one stabs more, then gets to move on up the ranks to the female snail to reproduce. Yeah, kind of. There's got to be some communicative going on here, though, between uh, the snails. Because how does the female snail knows which one it's, wins? It's biological. It's not like an agreed upon thing. It's, it's oh, like a, so the snails are just like this talking. This actually about it. has like secretions in it, so it's like a. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. They're not like fighting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they were like talking about like who wins. No. And stuff. Throughout the snail village. No, no. I'm not dumb, Chad. I'm this is, I'm learning. Think no, about it. No, he is learning. You don't go to school and just have the knowledge right off the bat. You have to learn it first. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's how snail sex works. I'm gonna have you put on a new pair of gloves um, because we're using a whiteboard marker for this next one. Here you go. New gloves. I do. 
So you guys go into school and you already know all the information you're getting taught. Chat, none of you knew that. My penis is not retractable. I'm blindfolding you for this last one. What? Because it's the biggest bug we have. You I prefer, your, I would prefer. You can put your gloves on first. I would prefer to see it though. Like, just so I can see what I'm working with, you know what I'm saying? Nope. You're getting blindfolded. Uh, can you tell me what it is? Why would I blindfold you then? If I was telling you what it was. Because what if it's like, why are you guys all made It's not a lion. Imagine. <laughs> I go crazy. I should. Can you tell me which which branch it's in? Is it an insect? Is it a reptilian? Is it's it a... an insect. Insect. Okay. Ah, see, this is this is dangerous. My All right. Okay. Good job. You want to blindfold yourself? You want me to tie it? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Put it. Yep. All right. I'll tie it. Great. All right. You stay here, I'm going to go get the bug. I don't like this. Ah. You're doing great. Just letting you know I didn't sign any forms. Just letting you know that. Guys, this is not my type of thing. Um, I can't see the chat right now, so I can't tell what you guys are saying, but you're probably saying, damn, Lacey, you look mad good today, if I had to guess. <laughs> I do look mad good today. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have you put your hands out on the table, uh, palms up. Oh. And put your hands together. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna need both your hands because he's kind of big and he's, what, I'm gonna put, this is my hand. I'm gonna put him here, uh, this is my hand. Okay. I'm gonna put him here and he's gonna walk across your hand. Oh, that was my he hand. can walk? Yes, he can walk. Um, are we sure about this? Yes. I don't know, about, I really don't know about this one. Okay, are you ready? No. You cannot, this is like, this is a bug. You cannot throw your hands up, okay? Because it's a, oh, it's like a living bug. And that would be really messed up. Oh, what if I'm scared? Like, what if I feel it and I get scared? I don't care. So I have to sit here and just man, like tough it out? Yes, but he's not going to hurt you, I promise. All right, you ready? Hold crazy! on. Crazy! <sighs> I almost put him in your hand. That's crazy. My, you I'm, have to my, my I'm really nervous right crazy. now. You have, to, you have to keep your hands on the table. Oh, <laughs> yo, you're not funny. You're not, you're not funny. <laughs> okay. All right, do it again. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I thought I just got bit. No, yeah, he's ready. not going to bite you, I promise. Okay, I'm ready. I'm... Okay, so I'm going to put, this is my hand. I'm going to put my hand here. Okay. And then he's going to crawl onto your hand. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. All right, my hand's here. He's on my hand. And I'm just going to gently push him onto your hand. Oh, Oh my god, what if, what if I'm, oh, I ha Okay, he's walking onto your hand. Why is it he has like claws? C well, he has feet. Is he clicking? <laughs> okay, he's he's in your hand. I don't like this at all. I, I want to <laughs> see what's on my, I can feel him like crawling. Okay. Oh, he likes you. He's sitting in your hand. No, get him off. <laughs> oh, my Dude. Okay. Oh, it's one of the, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one of the, the zebra ones, right? The zebra isopods. <laughs> okay. You like him? Can I pet him? Yeah, you can pet him. Okay. Okay, I'm done. You can take him back now. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> you really thought this was real when it was in your hand? Yeah. How, what do you mean do I feel when it's in my hand? You have a blindfold on me with a big black and white striped bug running across me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little RC bug. You asked if he's clicking. It's his wheels. It's not, I'm not a peon. You guys would have been scared too. All right, I'm gonna get you a bug. Keep your gloves on, I'm being scared. You guys would have been scared too. She thinks you're dumb? So you guys are telling me you've been touching bugs all day, you put a blindfold on, and she, and she makes it run across your hand. You're not gonna be scared. I'm not a peon, bro, that was scary.
This looks real. Cool, I'm a fake demon, bro. Whatever. Minus All four. Right. Okay. Next bug. This is Barbara. She's peeking out. She said, hello, I'm Barbara. Oh, it's a ladybug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not a ladybug. That's one big ass ladybug. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? See, they said on until until they turned her around, okay? What this is, is that? She's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Oh, my friend has a few of those. Really? Yeah, his name's Max. He got a few walking around his setup. Oh. Well, these ones are native to Madagascar. Um, there's a lot of cockroach species. This is one of the larger species. They're not flighted. She cannot fly. Um, and she's very chill, and she just likes to walk around and hang out. Okay. Would you like to hold her? Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm really going out of my comfort zone today. What is that, bro? I'm trying to. I'm trying Why are you phasing up like that? No, I'm trying to mimic your hand movement. No, just hold your hand out. Oh, weird. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to mimic your hands. <laughs> All right, here you go. This is Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Oh, she's nice. Um, so, <laughs> a lot of people don't like cockroaches because they think that they're gross and dirty. Uh, cockroaches have the same niche as the isopods. Okay. So they're detritivores. So they break down decaying matter. So cockroaches are in dirty places to clean them up. They're nature's little janitors. So hating cockroaches for being in gross places is like hating the firefighter for being at, at the site of a fire. Oh. Like they didn't because create they eat the garbage. fire. It's because they're eating it and making it into soils that we can use to grow new things. So they actually, cockroaches actually help us. They do. Yeah. That being said, you don't necessarily want to cohabit with cockroaches, right? Because sometimes people can be allergic to them. Um, because they can spread some diseases because they're not vulnerable to the diseases that we are or the same diseases that we are. Um, so we don't really want to share our houses with them. But the best oh. thing you can do to, to keep cockroaches out of your house is to not give them food and open things for them to break down. Because they'll smell those foods and then they'll be like, oh, time to go to work. Oh, and then they want to eat it. Yeah. Can you shift over to this other hand? But they're actually really cool and they're really important. And very cute. I wouldn't say all that. I mean, she's, she's, she's cool. I wouldn't say cute necessarily. Um, am, I, am I offending her? You're offending me. Oh, I apologize. Say something nice about her. We can't be friends. Barbara, you look very beautiful today with your brown skin and your antennas look very uh, habitable. I'm trying to use bug terminal. Uh, now I'm an asshole, right? No, I was fine. I just don't know what that means. I don't know either. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to use like like bug and habitable terminology. Terminology. I was trying to impress you and use big words, okay? Okay, good job. Um, okay, Barbara's getting a little riled up over here. But she's not as scary as you thought, right? No. No, roaches are cool. She's very calm. She's very cute. These are her eyes. Barb, just stay, stay there. Show them your eyes. Those are her eyes. See the shiny things? You see the light shining off of them? Yes, little cute little, oh, little cute little eyes. And she Aww. feels around with her antenna there. She does, they have beneficial mites. So they're like their little pets and they help clean them up. The mites can't get on humans. They don't do anything to humans. They're just for, for the cockroaches. Wait, so when you said they break down the garbage. Yeah. Do they eat it? Yeah. Okay. They eat to catch chat. They're all the you. I like her. I think, guys, you guys have to understand. This is a. This, this is my friend. Chat, say something nice about her. We can't be friends. Guys, say something nice about Barbara. Be nice to be nice to Barbara. This is not a normal cockroach. This is a very clean. No, cute... that doesn't help, bro. We're trying to do good cockroach PR right now. Okay. Um. She's nice. Cute bug, see? Yay, she's nice. They're good. They're good for the planet. Yes, we need cockroaches. You guys don't necessarily have to like bugs. I just, I hope that people realize how important they are um, and appreciate them, perhaps, because we need them. Again, if we didn't have bugs, like, we'd, we'd die. Like, all humans yeah. die. Um, they're natural pest control for other bugs, like 
puffy, like he eats other bugs. Uh, they break down decaying matter like Barbara, like Marty, like the isopods. Um, they pollinate for us. So fruits and vegetables and stuff that we eat, we need bugs to Bees do that do service that. for us. Yep. yep. Um, and ants, termites, aerate soils uh, so that water can penetrate the soil so we can grow things. They're so, so, so important. They do so many things for us. So, so if there were no bugs in the world, we would all be dead? Yep. <clears throat> Why oh. would, how to get its name? I don't know if you can see this. Um, her name is Barbara because she has barbs on her legs. Oh. Um, and it makes her really, really good at climbing. She can climb glass uh, because of those barbs. She's like Spider-Man. Barbara, so cute. Not W Barbara. W Barbara, W Bugs. All right, Sims, thank you take... for the $5 donation. You can take those gloves off. Okay. So basically, Max is saving the planet. Wait, are ants, do ants help the planet? Yes. Okay. Um, ants, for a few reasons. One, because they tunnel and burrow. They make habitat for um, other small bugs. They aerate the soil so we can grow things in that soil. Okay. And they're a food source for a lot of animals too. And hmm. that's an important job. All right, people, that is the end of the inside portion. We have a whole animal sanctuary to visit. Shall we get ready to swap? Get your no ways ready. Get your what? Your no ways ready. What's that? You have to do it. Come on, you gotta do one emote. I'm good on that emote. Good on that emote. Hey, what emote will you do with me? Swapping the mic. I don't know, it's not really my thing. Um, ah. What about uh, Omei 5? What's that one? That's it? That was my least favorite one today. No, that's the best one. Omei 5 is the best emote. Look, they're all gonna do it. Watch, you'll see it. See, there it is. Who is that? That's Flight. Oh. <coughs> all right, Drew, you ready to hold the camera? Yep. Drew is cameraing today outside with a new camera, so we will see. Yes, guys, Drew has a new camera and he's gonna be cameramanning outside with us. Um, hopefully he does good. Yeah. What's a mosquito's purpose, someone asked. Can you guys hear me right now or are we muted? We're it good? It should be on the other mic, technically. What? They can hear you. Cool. Um, so mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, one, are an important food source for birds, frogs, tadpoles. Um, so they're, they're a hugely important food source. And then number two, um, male mosquitoes are pollinators. So if you got bit by a mosquito, it's, it's a female mosquito that's biting you. Mosquitoes oh. only bite when they're going to lay eggs because they need the protein. That makes sense. Every time I'm outside, I mm -hmm. always get a bunch of bites by mosquitoes. It's the females. They like it's always the females that are like, I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> only female mosquitoes are gonna be the ones biting you. Male mosquitoes are pollinators, like bees. Oh. So they go around and pollinate flowers uh, and plants. So they're really important for that reason. So mosquito, so does it, okay, is there any insect that doesn't have a purpose, like a positive purpose? The only one that I can think of, um, I mean, not really. Oh. But like bed bugs only exist because humans oh. exist. Yeah. And they're like a parasite to humans. I had bed bugs one time. That sucks. I know. And they don't really have another ecological niche. They're just like a parasite. Wasps are also really important pollinators. Guys, just because they can sting you doesn't mean they do something important. Wasps are really important pollinators. Ticks are a huge food source uh, for a lot, a lot of animals too. Raccoons, opossums, mice, other small, small animals. Are we swapped? Yep. Excellent. All right, uh, let's get chat phones. Thank you very much. For you. Oh. Um, you can like bend ten it on your arm. Wait, what? You, you might need two hands while we're out there, so this is so you can see your chat all the time. This is some high-tech stuff. It's so funny how... Look at this! <laughs> guys, I got... Wait, is it on this? this oh. Guys, I got chat on my arm right now! <laughs> What's good? All right. I gotta get myself one of these. Drew, we gotta get you one of these. Oh, you're right. Thank oh, yeah, you. You, it, it's sick for cameramen to have this. Um, I'm gonna grab some treats and then okay. we're gonna go. 
I feel like Ben 10. Watch this chat. Ready? 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 Ben, I'm 10. I'm going to turn into the nearest animal. Thank <laughs> you. Ooh, can I steal a key from you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna turn into a pig. Ben 10, go! Thank you. Sorry. I'm gonna turn in to a new creature. All right, so we're gonna start down here. No way, it's a whale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go down to the parrot enclosure. We Wait, have Do I get to have one on me? Probably not. You oh. might be able to, to touch one of them. Okay. Um, we have four parrots. Four. Um, they're two macaws, one African gray. And one blue-fronted Amazon. Chat, there might be a couple, like, stutters when we go down here because we swap. That's a parrot. Oh, okay. Because we swap Wi-Fi APs, access points. Okay. Um, so as they swap, they, it might, like, glitch a little bit. Don't panic. They're spamming the Drew snapped emote. Drew shaking the camera. Tell yeah, Drew to stop shaking. Yeah, how's that? Down a hill. You got to hold it by the handles, I think, right? Yeah, no, you're doing good. Oh, it looks good. He's doing good, okay. How's it feel? Is it too heavy? No. No, Maya, it's just Drew. I think you're doing a great job. Okay. You hear that? It sounds like little kids. Yeah. They're kind of loud. Wait, so do you like hear them when you're sleeping? Uh, not from all the way down here, no. Oh. What are you guys saying what for? I don't know. It does. Hello? Simon? What? He knows his name? They do know their names. Okay, so this is where the stutter's gonna happen, chat. Don't panic. Chat, we're gonna F for a minute. No, not even F. It's nothing. Can you pull that door closed? Thank you. Hello, Ooh, Birdie. They sound like roosters. Birdie! What? That's her explosion sound. Hi, buddy. Did you say they sound like roosters? Yeah, I swear one sounded like a rooster. There's a rooster. That made that noise. We have a rooster. Uh oh. Siren, come here! <laughs> Hi! Um, so these are our parrots. This is Siren. She's a blue fronted Amazon. Yo. Um, she was in a breeding program at a zoo and was not successful in that program. Um, so that's why she's here. Hi! Oh, oh, that's nice. Can you say hello? Hello. hello. Can you say hello? Hello. That's no nice. way. They talk? She can talk. Um, one of the reasons we have the parrots, though, is that even though they're really... Rooster. I knew one of them sounded like a rooster. Even though they're really cute and they can talk, they can be super annoying, and they live up to... It's her explosion noise. She likes to interrupt me when I'm talking. Is it so funny? They like uh, to interrupt you. They can be super, super loud. And they can live 60 to 70 years. And they can bite really hard. So she could take your finger off. Okay. They can chew through wood. Um, I mean, so they, they, she just, she could actually like speak. Yeah. You want to say hello again? Can you say Hello. Hello. <gasps> Yo okay, no, what kind of parrots speak English? I'm so confused. Um, well, they just, they mimic sounds, so it's it's she just is repeating because we're speaking English. So she repeats anything I say? If you were Spanish and you had a pet parrot, it, there's a chance it would say Spanish words. Not Hola, English como words. estas? You know what, right? So she, they, <laughs> they repeat things when they've heard them lots of times. Oh, okay. Yeah, she can't just repeat back to you. Um, she does like to sing happy birthday sometimes, but she only says the birthday part. Um, can you sing happy birthday? Birthday. birthday. What do you think? I'm like shocked. It's pretty good, right? No way she's being quiet when you're trying, when you try to get her to talk. Hello, Brady. Hello, Brady. It's really, it's only when I'm talking that she wants to, that she wants to talk. 
She doesn't like men, so she won't let you touch her, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Um, hello. Hello. But parrots, as cute as they are, they do all this. So they can chew through wood. Um, they can break your fingers off. They live 70 years, and they can scream. She can scream at 130 decibels, which causes hearing damage long term. Wow. Um, so it's a really hard thing to have in your house. Most parrots end up in rescues because it's really hard for someone to commit to something that is as smart as a toddler that can damage your hearing and chew through wood for 70 years. It's just not realistic. Yeah. So we recommend not getting parrots as pets. Yeah, she's very loud. That's nice. And then we have two macaws. Hi. You guys want to come That's over? Nice. I have things for you. Wow. Whoa. So definitely don't touch these. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Tico, the blue and gold one. She's oh, called a blue and gold macaw. Wait, she, she uses her beak uh -huh. to... Yeah. So this is Tico, and then that's Miley. Miley's a Catalina macaw. Whoa, okay. big wings. That's nice. Um, there was a blue and gold macaw at a restaurant in Florida in 2020, either 2020 or 2022, that flew down and took a kid's finger off and then ate it. People don't realize how dangerous they are. Um, I'll give you a little demonstration. Wait, so the, these guys, these these ones right here, they're oh, big uh, They're out in the in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these blue and gold macaws live in the Amazon rainforest. Um, I saw them out in the Amazon. It was amazing. And then Miley is a Catalina macaw. She's a hybrid between a blue and gold macaw and a scarlet macaw, so the red ones. Mm. Tico was dropped off in a box outside of a humane society in California. That's how she got here. So somebody got her as a pet, and they were like, oh, my God, like, I can't have this in my house. So they dropped her off in a box. Oh. And then that's Miley. My Miley the Catalina. Um, so I'm going to show you how strong their beaks are. These are walnuts. There's um, no way they could chew through that. Well, I'm going to give you one so you can try to break it, and then I'm going to give it to Miley. Wait a second. I'm going to give them to Tico and Miley, and then we can see There's no way. who's stronger. You can stand right there. How, You'll be fine. How do, I, how do I do it? I don't know. However you think is best. For you. She's... I'm gonna get a first smiley. Uh, Hi. Hi. It's not really fair. This thing is hard. She's giving you a lot of. Uh... She she walked away, so you have more time. He but... just she just cracked it. Yeah, Tico's doing it. Tico's got it open. Use your teeth. Don't use your teeth. I can't do that, guys. You break your tooth. Wow. Oh my gosh. You can get right here if you want. You can get closer to her. Oh, good job, Tico. What's he, what's she saying over there? I don't know. What, Siren? What are you yapping about? What are you yapping about? You want to sing happy birthday? <laughs> That's, <nice. laughs> That's so cool. Anyway, I'll take that back. I assume you can't do that. Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do. Have you ever broken one of those? No. Oh. I can't do that either. I mean, some people can. Like, you can do it on a table, but... Oh, yeah, or, like, on the ground, probably. Yeah, but that's why you have nutcrackers. The bird's mudded. No, it's not. They just ate the whole thing. Yeah, good job, macaws. They can also scream at 130 decibels, and they need a ton of space. Like, they're big, you know? Yeah, and their so. wings are really... Yeah. Wait, so, but, like, this might be a dumb question, but do they get sad because they can't really fly in here? So, these two are fully flight capable, um, but they never learned how to fly because they've been in captivity their whole life. So we're teaching them how to fly right now. So once you teach them... Once we teach them, we have a big building. You can see the roof of it up there. We have yeah. a building up there, so we're hoping to get in there and get them more places to move around. Okay. Um, but they constantly get toys and stuff every day. Nothing that we have here will ever equate to what they would have in the wild, right? Like, we wish all of these animals could be in the wild where they belong, but all of our ambassadors that we have are rescues, and they're non-releasable. For a number of reasons, right? These ones were born in captivity, don't know how to take care of themselves. Like, yeah. if I flew to the Amazon rainforest with Tico and let her go, she would die <laughs> very Aww. quickly. She doesn't know how to take care of herself. Um, so for them, their only options are be at a facility like this and then use them to teach people, uh, or they would have to be euthanized. So, But that is a good question. That's sad. And then that's Mia up there. She's probably not going to come down. That's an African gray. Um, Hi. Hi. Hello. It's, that's Africa's largest parrot. They're endangered in the wild, critically endangered in the wild, because uh, people poach them for the pet trade. Wow. Siren, do you have anything else to say before we leave? What do you think? Bye.
<laughs> Did she just laugh? She's laughing. Are you guys laughing together right now? So funny. I just witnessed you and a bird laugh together. Yeah, we're laughing at you. Probably. All right, I'll get this there. Wait, so um, do you do you wake up to the roosters every morning? I can't really hear the rooster. Oh, so you have like a normal mat. alarm clock? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he also, he like cockadoodle doos throughout the day. Um, these are our, our chickens here. I'll get, let you, you can feed them. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, drama. Are, are they fighting? <laughs> Oliver. Cock. You can come in here, Lacey. Oh. Andrew. 21, by the way. Okay. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's crazy. Um, There might be a stutter in here, chat, by the way. This is Oliver. You want to give him some snacks? Yeah. They're dried mealworms. Ooh, okay. They're, they're dead. You got to squat down here. And they're kind of pinchy. Like when they... Uh, Take it from your hand, it kind of pinches. If you don't like it, just drop them. Okay. It hurts? No, but you Which might think it Which one do I does. feed it to? Whoever wants it. Just like, put your hand down. For you! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's nice! Why are you looking at me like that, man? I don't know. He doesn't like you. What did you think? Guys, I, I can't like squat with my knee. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um. So... We have the chickens to teach people about um, <laughs> the poultry industry. Uh, so if you guys are buying eggs, we have a label that we recommend people look for in store. It's more expensive, which is sad, um, but it's called Certified Humane. That's like the best label you can look for on eggs for animal welfare. Mm. Um, it's a Certified Humane label, cage-free, um, free-range labels don't actually Why do eggs. they do this? Um... Like, look, see? Like, because they're... Oh, this is how she walks. Like, she's looking around. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, cage free and, and uh, free range labels don't actually mean anything, unfortunately. It's just a bunch of loopholes. Um, it's kind of sad. Watch your step. There's chicken shit in between your shoes. Oh, like, great. Okay. Nice. Good to know. All right. Can they... These ones can drop eggs? Yeah, yeah. Um, except for the black one. The black one's a rooster. So when you wake up in the morning and you make eggs, do you make eggs from them? Uh, no, here we have foxes and crows that both eat scrambled egg. Oh. So our foxes and crows eat their eggs. Bye. Obviously they do. Okay. No, that's not, I mean, that's a fair question. Yes, yeah, so um, you guys, I'm smart. An interesting thing about the poultry industry, so chicken's closest wild relative is red jungle fowl. It's like a chicken that lives in the rainforest. Okay. They only lay like between 12 and 25 eggs every year. Because they have two laying seasons. Oh, Our yeah. commercial layers, like the chickens that we have at farms to lay eggs for us, will lay an egg every single day. So they'll lay like over 300 eggs oh, a wow. year. Um, and that's because we've bred them to produce a lot. So it's that really, is really one hard on their body. Big ass pigeon. Yeah, so that's uh, an emu. <laughs> Hold on now. Did Adapt see this thing right here? Yes. You want to come in? Yeah. Excuse me, Stumpy. Hi, horsey. Don't mind the horse. Wait, why? Why is it a he or she? It's a he. Why does he have this thing on? It's a fly mask. It's to keep flies out of his eyes, but he can see through it. It's oh, okay. Um, here, let's just go around him. <laughs> Excuse me. W dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. It kind of is. It does look like it. Sarah, go away. This is my. This is. He's not a rescue. This is my horse I've had since I was twelve. Um, he just lives here. This is Stompy. <laughs> Ow! Whoa! What the heck? Stompy likes rings. Um, this is an emu. Um, a lot of people get them confused with ostriches. Yeah. Ostriches are also ratites. Uh, so same family, but ostriches are African birds, and emus are Australian birds. 
You want to pet him? Yeah, but I'm scared he's going to snap me like he did you. No, it didn't hurt. Oh, it doesn't hurt when they do that? No. Hey, buddy. I'm scared to, like, look it in the eyes. You can look him in the eyes. Okay. Okay, where do I pet him at? Wherever. Right here. Hi, buddy. That's not nice. Aww. Stompy. He's cool. Yeah, so Stompy was, uh, Stompy's egg was laid at a zoo in California, and his mom abandoned the clutch of eggs. No. So he was incubated at the zoo and then sent here. That's how we got Stompy. And we have him to teach people about the exotic meat trade. Um, emu meat was really popular as an alternative to red meat up until the 90s. It's, it's fallen off quite a bit now. And wild emus are really lucky because their populations have never really been negatively affected, but a lot of animals are negatively affected by the exotic are, are meat Are these trade. in the wild too? Because I've never seen one. Mm -hmm. well, they live in Australia. Oh, they have an accent. Uh, Oi, mate. Yeah. You want to give him a hug? I can hug him? Yeah, look, she likes hugging. <gasps> no oh, way. So nice, though. Oh. Hi, horsey. Nice chicken. What are you doing? What? He likes hugs. Wait, can I, have, can, I, can I get like someone like him as a pet? You could have emus if you had a lot of land. Wait, but it can't, like, live in your backyard. Teach me how to hug him. So, I want to give him a oh, hug. Oh um, so come up to him like this. Okay. And then I'll guide his head onto your shoulder. Okay. He's going to like your face change, just so you know. He's going to what? He's going to like your face Is he going to snatch it? No, probably not. I don't know. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, so nice. Oh. <laughs> He's hugging me. Cute. Yeah, that's nice, Stompy. Um, chat was saying that they look like dinosaurs. Look at this, Drew. They've got wings, tiny little wings. What? Um, and they have little claw. I don't know if you can see this. They have little claws on their wings as well. Um, super prehistoric looking. All modern birds are descendants of theropods, which were two-legged, three-toed, feathered raptors. Yeah, I was going to say this is the closest thing I've ever seen to a dinosaur. Their skeletal comparisons are like the exact same. It's incredible. So why, why isn't this considered a dinosaur? It is. So I'm, I just touched a dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, all birds are dinosaurs. Um, no way. Like technically, yes. Huh. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, pretty cool. That's Stompy. How many horses do you have? Just one. And then we have two donkeys. Hi. Donkey. That's Jalapeno. He was rescued from a feedlot. Uh, so he was going to be slaughtered in 2021. Or he was going off to slaughter in 2021. No. Um, but now he's here. We have him. He might smell your hand if you put your hand out. We have him to teach people about uh, animal use in traditional medicine. They use <laughs> donkey hides. Um in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and the demand for it is so high that it's affecting wild donkey populations. That's jalapeno. They cut off his ear at the feedlot to like identify him. Oh. Um, so that's why he's got a chip out of his ear. Does that like affect him or no? No. I mean, I'm sure it hurt at the time, but now he's okay. He looks sad. He's okay. Uh, over here we have Winnie the Moo. It's a cow? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I win. Winnie the Moo! Winnie! Hi! Oh wow! Let's see. I know. This is Winnie. What are you guys saying twins for? Can I pet Winnie? Yes. Where at? Wherever. She's like a, she's kind of like a big dog. Um, oh. This is Winnie the Moo. Um, we rescued her from a beef operation in Oklahoma. So she was going to be slaughtered for beef in 2022. Um, and now she's here instead. This is a red mm. Angus how beef do you, cow. How do you like catch that? Like knowing that that's going to happen and like catching it and then getting them here. In this case, the people that own the beef operation donated her because her mom had mastitis. So she couldn't nurse her. So she was going to have to be a bottle baby. So we bottle fed her, but bottle rearing a baby cow is a lot of work, uh, yeah. too much work for farmers. So they donated her here so we could teach people about the beef industry. Um, so does she, have, does she, do you have, like, does she get milked? No, cows have to be bred to produce milk. Okay. Um, 
but she would produce milk if, if we bred her, but we won't. So when you see, you've seen like Angus beef in the store? Yeah. This is a red Angus beef cow. So it would either be her or the same cow, but with black hair. So I've eaten? Mm-hmm. Probably. Um, one of the things that we, we tell people about with the beef industry is Winnie burps, burps, that, do you hear that? She burps and farts methane, which is a greenhouse gas, um, <laughs> which is fine that you can smell it. Yeah, I smell it. Yeah, which is fine to do naturally, but we have so many cattle to keep up with the beef demand that it's affecting our climate. So if you want to do something for the environment but don't know where to start, starting by eating less beef is awesome. Um, hi. Jeff, you guys want to donate to help save animals like Winnie the Moo? The Sometimes link should be right there. She likes being scratched like under her head if you want to try that. You can really get in there. Like, like a, here? Yeah, just like... <laughs> oh, Winnie! So cute! We're not twins. And this is her fly mask. She can see through it. Um, it's just to keep flies out of her eyes and to, you know, so she can't see the haters or whatever that are in chat right now. There you go. It's okay. Are you, I don't know. Are you vegetarian? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, I mainly just try to eat. Um, I don't eat any beef anymore. Mm -hmm. um, if I am eating meat ever, uh, it, chicken is the best option environmentally. But in regards to animal welfare, they're all pretty shit. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Hi, Stomp. Bye, Stomp. You know how fast they can run? Guess. Uh, 70 miles per hour. 70 would go crazy. <laughs> um, like 30. But that's, that's like, still that's really still, fast. Yeah, it's like as fast as like a car on like a normal road. You know Australians lost a war to emus? <clears throat> a war? Mm-hmm. How? Um, after the war, uh, Australian farmers were given land uh, to help rebuild. And emus were an agricultural pest. Mm -hmm. So they ate their crops and like damaged everything. So the farmers were like, it's time for war. And so they went to their... They had a minister of agriculture. They could have gone and like tried to solve it, like farmers. But they went to the minister of defense <laughs> in Australia and they were like, this is war. And against then, animals. Against the emus. So they sent them out with machine guns to like, coal, <laughs> to like coal emu populations. But emus are so fast. <laughs> and oh. they were so bad uh, that they wasted so much ammunition um, that they had to pull out. Because it wasn't worth uh, the money. Huh. So that's why if you... You've ever heard people say emu in Australia? Classic Australians. That's why people say that. Yo, Josh, thanks for the $5 in Meepler with the $50 oh, donation. thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look, he's trying to get out. He wants to stay with us. Iskar, thank you for the $50 donation again. Another 50. So W50 in the chat. Bye, Stompy. Cool. Um, all right, parrots, chickens, emu, donkeys. Monkeys? You have... I t <laughs> he loves I forgot. He loves monkeys. Monkeys are my favorite. Yay. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're going to go this way. Okay. Chat, it might, it, it might stutter a little bit. Get your no ways ready, chat. We've got monkeys. They really liked your friends yesterday, so the monkeys I, did. I hope that they do well today. Yeah, um, they're very small, very small monkeys. They're called marmosets. Marmosets. Wait, do you do, like? Am I allowed to touch them or no? They if they, they might jump on you. Um, they might not. I'm not sure. Well, did they we'll jump on out. them yesterday? They did. Yeah. What? But they don't always do that. So we shall see. iPad kid, you know the monkeys love. Screens as well. Oh. They're iPad kids themselves. They love Cocoa Melon <laughs> and Trash Truck, stuff like that. They're like little babies. Like little babies. So we got them. Someone bought them as pets, like online, like on the internet. <laughs> Purchased them as pets in the city of Austin and didn't know how to take care of them properly. So they're in like a little cage in this guy's house. 
So they had metabolic bone disease, dental disease, uh, vitamin D deficiencies because they had no sunlight, just like a ton of medical issues. And that's how they came here, is they were a rescue. We've rehabbed them here since. They're in like fantastic health. We're really proud of it. And they're doing really well. And we teach people about the fact that monkeys are really not pets. It's, it's super unfair really? for people to have monkeys in their house. So I can never have one? No. <laughs> I've always wanted a monkey as a pet. Yeah, a lot of people do. Um, and I'll tell you a few reasons why you probably don't actually want that when we go in there. <gasps> Wait, do they eat bananas? They love banana. Oh my, I should have brought them some bananas. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, no way. Do you guys want to come all the way in here? And then Drew, you want to close that door so I can open this one? You got it? You got to actually pull on it, I think. Sorry. There you go. Look how excited they are. Little tiny monkeys. Oh my gosh. So this is Appa and Momo. Appa's the one on the wire. Momo's the one on the rope. Uh, they are marmosets. Um, so it's a very small Brazilian primate. We'll walk over here, stand by this platform and see if they come down. Hello? Do you want to come over here? What's that stuff? Uh, this is their food. So oh. it's like a little puzzle feeder. Here they are. Oh wow, Oh, my buddy. gosh. Hi, boys. What are you looking at? Uh, so the one with the white tufts is a common marmoset or a white tufted marmoset. And then... <gasps> oh, <they're> hugging. <laughs> and then he's a black tufted marmoset. That's how you can tell them apart. What do you think? Sometimes Oppa likes if you give him a stick, if you want to, like, find a stick that you think he would like and hand it to him, he might uh, befriend you that way. Nice. That's a good one. Which one? Uh, the one on the left with the white. I got a stick for you, buddy. Try not to look him in the eye, if you can help it. Oh, wait, why? What does that do? Um, it's just a, like, it's a thing that monkeys use when they're trying to fight each other. They'll look each other in the eye. It's a defensive thing. <laughs> you don't want hit the stick from him. I got you a stick, He bro. got you a gift, buddy. He wants his food. <laughs> he doesn't want my stick, Shad. Aww. Maybe, maybe he wants the stick. No. Or not. Appa, he's got something for you. You I, can also show him the chat if you want. He can read? No, <laughs> but he does, does like screens. Look. Ooh. Look what he's got. I got a chat for you. He's chat, say hi to him. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're hiding. What it's not doing? funny. <laughs> um, so, monkeys in the wild their job is to be seed dispersers so they eat fruits and then swing around trees and shit everywhere because they're planting trees like with their shit oh you know um which is so awesome and so important uh but you they would do that in your house and that would suck yeah like they would swing around everywhere and just shit everywhere because that's their job what do you think i think he's scared of me yeah oh he wants to see your chat <gasps> No oh. way he's reading the chat. Oh, get the stick, buddy. What is it? <laughs> you have to give it to him. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> if you hand him something, you have to fully give oh. it to him, or he'll be mad. <laughs> so he's mad at me now? <laughs> yeah, because you... It's he's okay. on Drew. <laughs> I'm oh sorry. <laughs> he really likes cameras. Um... Oh, that's funny to you guys. <laughs> that's funny to you guys, huh? Did he break skin? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> I just, I, I'm sorry. Here, Appa, this is for you. It, I got you a stick. It you. It's for you. See? Yeah. What does he do with the stick? Nothing. Just looks at it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> wow. Oh, is that a microphone? That's nice. Ooh, a phase chain. Oh, is he going to snatch my chain? No, he's scratching. He's grabbing it, but it's okay. That was nice, buddy. See, we made up. All right. We're going to get out of here because uh, they're showing some behaviors and I think that they're going to bite you again. What? <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. Why don't they like me? Um, Because he thought you were giving him something and he couldn't take it from you and he got mad about it. Oh. Sorry, Momo. Uh, don't open that door until I close this one. Okay. 
All right, now you can open it. Push down on that lever and then push the door. Got it. Wait, so you don't feed them bananas? You just give them the food that was in there? No, they get banana oh. sometimes. Um, it's their favorite thing. He thinks you're food. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. So it it's nice with them because they're so small and a bite is like kind of funny. It's like not yeah, the end no, of the world. Yeah. But larger monkeys, like they will rip your whole nose off or like Actually? scalp you. Yeah, it's really scary. People... Uh, People get into really bad shape when they try to get a monkey as a pet because they, they bite. Because they're monkeys. I used to work at a zoo. We had a monkey that was at the zoo because someone had her as a pet and she took his nose off. <gasps> butterfly. Um, yeah. It's a painted lady butterfly. Um, she took his nose off and at the zoo, I was walking by her enclosure one time cleaning as a zookeeper and she grabbed my ponytail and threw me to the floor. The monkey did? <laughs> yeah. And she was only like, like this tall. Like she was not a huge monkey. They're powerful. Yeah. Wait, Oni Studios. Yeah. Yeah, they supported this enclosure. Isn't that Cipher? Uh huh. I love Cipher and Manishi. They're <gasps> awesome. All right. They're strong. Super strong. Yeah, you don't want a monkey as a pet. These are the crows. They did not come hang out yesterday. They were scared of Silky and Adapt. So we'll see. Habit. Of course the crows were scared of Adapt. That's mad sus. Abbott! Come here! <laughs> I don't know if he's going to come out here or not. Buddy. He went. Oh, good catch. Did they catch them? Yeah. You want to throw some? Yeah. Drew, make sure to get this aura moment. Through one at a time. One at a time. You guys ready? Ready? Oh, well, oh. throw it, like, you know, to oh. them. Oh! He caught that one. Ready? He caught that one. <laughs> You're getting finessed up there, bud. I'll get you one here. Oh, my gosh. Good catch, Abbott. Oh! <laughs> so, this is Abbott and Coconut. They were born in the wild here. Um, oh. uh, but they were raised by humans and they imprinted on humans. Um, so they never learned how to take care of themselves in the wild. They tried to release Abbott when he was a baby. And he ended up uh, at a park a couple days later, landing on random people just begging for food because he hadn't eaten in days. Aww. So we wish these two could be releasable and could be in the wild, uh, but they can't be um, because they're imprinted birds. Yeah. So if you guys ever find a baby bird... Um, you want to find a wildlife rehabilitator to raise it so that this doesn't happen. Um, never try to raise wildlife by yourself. Bye, guys. Sometimes they come down, sometimes they don't. Sorry. W. Lobs, Lamar Jackson. We one went down. Aww. Abbott. How do you tell which one is which? Like, when you look at, like, when I look at them, I don't, like, is there, like, a way you can distinguish which one is Abbott and which one's the other one? I think their faces look different. Their feathers look a little different right now. And then Coconut has splayed legs because he had a leg injury when he was a baby. Oh. This is going to be, uh, our tortoise is going to move in here. We have a Salcata tortoise. A tortoise? Yeah, but she's not in here yet. They don't like you. They did better than they did yesterday. <laughs> they liked me. With, yeah. I was throwing them lobs. They were catching them. And then, yes, ta. Yes, chat. A ta, yes. Yes. They're getting a ta. Yep. And then over here is the fox enclosure. <laughs> That's like actual thin. foxes. Yeah. Hi, buddy. You go in there? Mm-hmm. Hi, Finn. Oh, hello. Holy. <laughs> that is sick. Yeah, so we have two foxes. Um, he is an American red fox, but he's not red. Why? Because um, he was a confiscation from the illegal pet trade in California. So someone tried to have him as a pet as well. <laughs> um, and that's illegal in California, so he was confiscated. He is not red because they bred him to be that color because people want like cool colors. You can go in here with them, yes, huh? Yes, yeah. They're not, like, dangerous at all? Um, no. You'll be good. 
Bock auf ein größeres. Okay. Und dann open this. Please attack him. He's not gonna attack you. Don't worry. Aww. Hi, buddy. So here's some treats. This is rehydrated chicken, so it's like kind of moist. How do I feed it to him? Um. Well, you kind of have to kneel, actually. So do or, I like? Do I you like, could just take it off my hand. Yeah. So like this. If you want, go. That's nice. He's got some to fill you. Oh, it's so Aww. nice. So this is Finn. The reason that we have these guys here, I'll give you more, um, is to teach people about why foxes are not pets. Um, okay. And then also about the fur trade. There are still people that are breeding animals, like fur farms, just to kill them for fur, which is really sad. Yeah. Um, fur is really cringe. You guys want some fox ASMR? Check this out. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Very nice. How many are there? There are two of them, but the other one is kind of shy. Okay. Uh, so you probably won't see him. Wait, so like, is, I'm trying to think. So like, I would see like a fox like this in the, like in the woods? No, so he's a, you know, the red foxes that you're used to seeing? Yeah. That's his species. This sometimes uh, naturally occurs in the wild, but it's pretty, pretty rare. So like, could you, could you have him like, as like, why would he not work in the same atmosphere as, like, a dog? So, they act super different from dogs, number one. So, he's not the kind of animal that you could, like, oh. pet and stuff like that. He's shitting. He's, he's shitting. All right, look at him, Drew. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> Chad didn't Drew see snapped. him shitting. Um, so like, what would happen if I got like a fox like that and just had him like treated him like a dog, trained him like a dog, just be around my house? So he was raised in someone's house, but he still doesn't act like a dog. So he would be very nervous. Number one, um, number two, they scent post, uh, which means that they pee on and shit on everything um, to market. Okay. So there would be pee and shit all over your house. And then I don't know if you can really smell it because it's so open air, uh, but they have like a musk to them, um, like they kind of smell like skunk all the time. Oh. So your house would smell like that. Oh, yeah. That's but, probably not what you want. Yeah. Give the camera to one of the monkeys. They'd do a better job than Drew. Drew's doing a really good job, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Why are you guys retweeting that? Play the song for them. Oh. What does the fox say? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Have you ever done that to them? No, I haven't. Get out. Cutie did this one. She did. W Cutie in the chat. Mm -hmm. Um, The last outside enclosure is the wolf dogs. Whoa. They are our newest rescue. So we have two what? wolf hybrids. They're, How new? Uh, we got them in May of this past year. So we rescued them from a roadside zoo that has a bunch has had a bunch of Animal Welfare Act violations over the past decade, mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't have the resources they needed to take care of them. So that's why they're here now. So these are wolves. These are. Do they ever howl? Wolf dogs. They do howl, and we're um, walking in on a training session with our zookeepers. You can show that. Um, so we're gonna have to be really, really quiet. So they're not dangerous. Uh, they can be. Please eat Lacey for the clip. You will not be going in there, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have a lot of space. Yeah, um, the enclosure that they came from was about a tenth of the size of this one. So they have a lot more space than they used to have. So what if you put, what if you, what would happen if you put the, uh, the fox in there with them? They would kill the fox. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can stand over here. Drew, you can like shoot through this fence. Sorry guys, bad timing. Um, <laughs> Drew, if you wanted to shoot through that fence, I don't know if they're gonna come over because they've never had people show up during a training session. Um, so 
yes they can be dangerous right because they're they're wolf hybrids so they're part wolf yeah um the shitty thing about the, the reason people breed them is because people are like i want to my dog's part wolf right here you can go there um they want to say my dog's part wolf because they want to be sick or whatever yeah uh but in reality you get an animal that can't usually be in someone's house because they're unpredictable and can be really dangerous right but then they mm -hmm. also can't be released into the wild because they're part dog um and they're not oh. naturally occurring so then they're stuck to to be in facilities like this so people just basically breed them like that and then just give them away yeah yeah or they get euthanized um because they hurt somebody in someone's house so the hybridization of wolves and dogs is really sad um the one you're looking at right now or we're looking at was timber um and then we also have one named awa timber. timber and oh, awa timber oh he's so brave very nice how do they feel comfortable like, i would not feel safe being in there they have a they're new they have a pole in there um, that they can use to separate themselves oh, okay. from them if anything happened. But these, I mean, they're a full-time animal care staff, so they're with yeah. them all the time. Whoa. Pretty nice. They're cool. They're so nice. Yeah, so they're newer and, like, not super comfortable with people. Well, yeah. It'll never be an enclosure that we bring people into because it's not safe. Mm. But, yeah, decent look at them. Also, wolves are keystone species. Like, super, What's that mean? They're super important for their environment. Okay. And without wolves, the whole ecosystem would fall apart. Oh, um, shit. They eat deer, and that helps to protect plants, because deer eat plants, and yada yada. So, wolves are very important. W production. Nice, Drew. There we go. Rare Drew W. <laughs> you don't have to say that. You could just say... You could just say. Oh, no, that's Drew what they're w. saying. Well, they're saying rare Drew W. You could just say, "Wow, it's Drew W." Nah, Drew W. Drew snaps. Drew snaps. Yeah. Um, this is their inside space. I'll show you for funsies. Oh, not Drew. Oh, did you? I think. Space, oh, they're saying not Drew. Space put a cam up. Oh. Not talking about Drew. There oh. was production. Okay, oh. but the camera work was good. Um, this is their inside space. They have AC in here. They have heating in here. Uh -oh. um, this is where we have storage. Kind of they got a cold plunge? Uh, that's a chest freezer. Oh. Because they eat meat. Oh. Are you from LA? Yeah. That's very no, 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 no. I'm from Pennsylvania. Oh. But you live in LA? Yeah. That was a very LA thing to ask. What? Seeing a chest freezer and asking if it's a cold plunge. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like. I've been in LA for four months. No, that's it? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever been there? Yes, lots of times. Oh. I have a podcast with Cutie. Um, so. You guys, you have to go out there to film it, I'm yeah, guessing? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm out there. Well, I used to be out there a lot. Now, not as much. I don't really like it. Uh, it's... It's, it's okay fun. if you're around the right people. It's a little much for me. Yeah. Um. They think LA changed you. LA did, did not change you. Did you know him me. before LA? Didn't you like just start streaming? Yes. <laughs> LA did not change me, chat. Chat. It's not nice. I'm literally the same. Only thing I've done in LA that you could consider LA is I went to one LA party. And I left and halfway through. It. I hated it. That's what I, he walked in this morning. He's like, I'm not really a party guy. And I was like, really? I don't know why I assume all phase boys are party boys. No, I'm not. You can ask them. I go to parties and I stand in the corner on the weather app. Weather app? Mm -hmm. Just because you like keeping track of the weather? Well, just so I look like I'm doing something productive on my phone. So I don't look like a loser at the you party like, just sitting there. read something instead. Like a, bring a book to a party? No, I mean like read an, an article or something on your phone. Oh, I guess I could do that. <laughs> So RT means retweet? Yeah, retweet. I thought it meant real talk this whole time. No, it's like if you say something, so like if you were like, like say like, Lacey, you're so ugly, they would say retweet. Retweet. Yeah. Got it. You smoke mad blunts. Stop capping. I don't retweet. even smoke. I don't even know how, what the difference between a blunt and a weed is. So all, which house do you live in? Oh, back there. I'm across from the foxes. 
I live oh. in a in a tiny house. So what happens when the foxes start howling at night? Or they the don't. Wolves? I hear the wolves, but it's nice. Yeah, it's wolf howling cool. is nice. All right, um, chinchillas. Chinchillas. Yeah, we're going inside now. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's push pop. Um. <laughs> scared me. This is the tortoise that is getting the like. This is just her outside playpen. That's why it looks like shit. Um, she does not live here. She is moving into that big enclosure next to the crow enclosure. Um, but she's just in here until how old is she? That is set up. She's about four. And she'll get huge, right? She'll she'll be like a hundred pounds. She'll live to be a hundred years old. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's push pop. Here we go with the Taz. Okay. Whoa. This is the nutrition house. We do all of our diet prep in here. And we make all the animals toys and stuff in here. Huh. Um, these are the... Ch if you want to come over here and sit on the floor, you can do that. And I will release... Well, what do we release here? Chinchillas. What are those? Oh, okay. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> they're just chinchillas. They're cute. Drew, their hands too dark. You'll like them. Okay. Hi, Tins. Look, it's Snork. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gonna give this way? Can I look can I look her in the eye or no? Yeah. Okay. That's just I'm primates. like scared to look them all in the eye now. That's just primates. Okay, how do what do I Here I'll give you this. How do I feed it? Just off my fingers just, like this? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, I got another one. Oh. Aww. You want to see her trick? Yeah. They're like little, like, they're like big mice. Yeah, they're rodents. Come here. Hey, Tims. Can you hold? Can you hold? No way she can oh, hold that. Oh, she got scared. Aww. Um, usually... When we do this bit, I write something mean on the sign. Uh huh. And everybody, because I don't, I didn't know anything about your content before you came here. Everybody that I asked what to write on the sign, including Jason and whatever, um, they were just like, "She won't bite you." Uh, They're like, "Just write Ozempic," and I, I couldn't do it because I don't know you, and I felt bad, and I was like, "That's really mean." You, do you have a? You could do it now. I mean, I could. Drew, get that pen. So I just wrote I heart Lacey on it because I thought it was nicer. Oh, I like that one better. <laughs> Come here. Ha ha, chat. Ha ha. Drew, if you want to like squat down, if you can squat, and then just stay there because she can sit down too. Might be come easier. Here. Do you have any personal pets like a dog or a cat? I have two dogs. Oh. What breeds? Yeah, she is a Weimaraner and a Pitbull Chihuahua mix. That's nice. Aww. <laughs> Good job. She hearts me. <laughs> That's nice. Can you hold? Oh. That's sick. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Good job. This is Snork. So Sport. we have chinchillas uh, to talk about the fur trade. It takes 120 of these to make a fur coat. Not to kill the vibe. There's no way they make fur coats out of them. Oh, chinchilla fur? Yeah. People love chinchilla fur. So they fur. kill 120 of these to make one coat. So they were almost wiped out in the wild in Peru um, for that reason. Now they're protected and they're doing a lot better. But fur is super sad. So that's the reason we have the chins. That's sad. Yeah. She likes you, dude. She would not. She Can we pet not, them? Um, let me get a treat, and then she might let you touch her if I do. Don't freak out. It's okay. What is that? Oh. There's a chicken in there, because she can't be out with the other... Well, the chinchillas are out. That one's running around. Yeah, it's moving. Come here, Snork. Here you go. Okay, here. And then... 
I have her come up here, you can touch her back. Crazy soft, huh? Yeah. Good job, Snark. That's so nice of you. Oh, that's so nice. She wouldn't even take food from Adopt yesterday. Wonder why. Like they <laughs> She never lets anyone touch her this much. That's crazy. That is so nice, Snork. Oh. <laughs> Do, do people get on your leg? Move your elbow. Do yeah. people have these as like pets? Sometimes, yeah. Um, they take a lot more work than than people expect. Uh, these are domestic chinchillas, um, which is <gasps> not quite the same as their wild counterpart. Um, Hi, Smart. So it's possible, but we don't recommend it. It's it's a lot of work, and they can be really destructive as well. Mm. Here you go. You want to read the chat? She can't read, Lacey. Gee, how do you know? she tell you that? No. Snork, look, they're saying hi to you. See, they're saying hi. <laughs> See? Dude, Adapt's gonna be so pissed <laughs> when he sees these clips. We sat in here for like 30 minutes with him just trying to give them a piece of food and he couldn't do it. <laughs> it's so funny. So weird. I would like, okay. I don't know what I just read. <laughs> Snork likes you. They're so cute. <laughs> Someone said they respect you for doing this with Alvea Sanctuary. You're dumb and not learning anything. You are definitely learning a lot. I'm learning he's, a lot, guys. He's listened better than like probably at least sixty percent of collaborators we have out here. You're actually doing a really great job. I I don't think that's true. I think he's doing a good job. I am. I'm trying to learn. You got to get a chinchilla now. I couldn't, bro. I don't. I cannot. I don't want to take care of that. Um, yeah. It... Who's that? You wanna go inside? Oh. Here you go. Wing. Come here, Snark. Come here. Oh. Come here. For you. <laughs> wow, Lacey. She really likes you. What the heck? Come here. Hi, Snork. Open. Snark, come on. Let's go home. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, I'm the chinchilla whisperer. That was crazy. W Snork. Very nice. All right. Back to the studio. To the studio. It's a chicken. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> Sound like a dishwasher. It's just a chicken. That's a tour. You guys have so many animals. Yeah. We oh. made it back. We're back. What did you think? Amazing. So we're going to swap back to the center if you want to put that on the tripod again. See, they're saying W Tour. Hooray! W Tour in the chat. That was fun. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Which one is your favorite? Snork. Th yeah, that's so fair. I love Snork. Mudded? Pause. What? On mute. Oh. Wait. Spam. Okay. Ask Snork out. Okay. So you want me to. Chinchilla. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, they can hear. Okay. Um, yeah, that's chat, what was your favorite animal today? The crow? You got to see a little bit of the crow. Yeah. yeah. Chat, what was your what was your favorite animal? Type it in the chat. I like snork. But I also liked... <coughs> chat, chat. What are they saying? Let me just let me just lay something down for you. I am 26 years old. <laughs> okay. Lacey and I will not be dating. No! Let me just lay that on the table, all right? I am I am 26 years old. I'm so sorry to, to break everybody's hearts. Wait for the shippers to come. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, you guys are laughing at me, huh? That's funny. Retire her. I'm not, I'm not retiring her. 
She has a kid. No, she hey, does not have a kid. Thank you for the five. What was that? Thank you for the five dollars. I was asking you for money. Oh. Five dollar donation. Did we hit the goal? I don't know. What are the donos at today? Uh, 392. 392? Yep. Thank you guys so much for the donations today. That's amazing. $392. Thank you so much. Um, chat, I hope that you enjoyed the tour. Um, I hope you learned something today about animals. Uh, if you want to keep up with the animals, you can do that on Alvea's Sanctuary. Alvea's is guest starred in today. So um, you can watch the live cams if you want. It's a really great way to support the sanctuary. It's an yes, awesome, go watch the live cams. It's an awesome second monitor stream. If you just want to watch the animals, it's, it's, it's a good time. Um, if you want to learn more or if you want to just hang out with the animals and myself, you can, you can check us out. Uh, on my channel or oh my Alvarez gosh we've got a 50 dollar donation thank you so much we yeah. gotta hit we gotta hit it thank you so much yeah my channel is just maya